Hello, it is 2.30 p.m. on August 31st, 2019, and this is uh, a Hurricane Dorian update. So, um, some good news and bad news in regards to the storm and the forecast track. Um, we're going to first actually look at the advisory from the Hurricane Center. Where is it? Here it is. So, uh, this is the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center, and you can see it's curving away from Florida. They have it curving away from Florida, so it doesn't even look like Florida will get to see uh, a landfall at all, which is very fortunate for Florida. Right now, that's what is latest on the models, but the bad news is it's strengthened now. Uh, maximum stain winds 150 miles an hour. Uh, and we're going to look at the current statement from the National Hurricane Center on Dorian. Okay, so here is the, uh, we're going to look at the public advisory. So this is the public advisory. Severe Hurricane Dorian continues heading for the northwestern Bahamas with life-threatening storm surge and devastating winds. Uh, as of 2 p.m., it's located about 205 miles east of Great Abaco in the Bahamas or about 385 miles east of West Palm Beach in Florida. Maximum sustained winds are 150 miles an hour. Its movement is west at 8 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure is down to 945 millibars. That is just 27.91 inches. Okay, so um, discussion and outlook as of 2 p.m. We already saw, we went over the area, uh, but as of 2 p.m., the distinct eye of Hurricane Dorian was located near latitude 26.1 north, longitude 73.9 west dorian is moving toward the west at eight miles per hour and a slower westward motion should continue into early next week on this track the core of dorian should move over the atlantic well north of the southeastern and central bahamas today be near or over the northwestern bahamas on sunday and move near the florida east coast late monday through tuesday data from an air force reconnaissance plane indicate that the maximum stain winds are near 150 miles an hour with higher gusts Dorian is a Category 4 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. Some fluctuations in intensity are likely, but Dorian is expected to remain a powerful hurricane during the next few days. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 30 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 115 miles from the center. And once again, the minimum central pressure recorded by a reconnaissance plane was 945 millibars, or 27.91 inches. So uh, going back to uh, our our uh, map, well, that's not what we want to look at yet. Uh, uh, going back to this, you can see hurricane warnings are in effect for much of the Bahamas, but nothing for Florida yet. So, and that is because, nothing for Florida, the East Coast yet, and that is because, all right, here we go, cue the spaghetti models. They finally want to, they, they've been wanting to get on the screen, but here you go, uh, here are the models. They're now all taking this storm and recurving it out to sea with just a brush along the coast. So it's amazing how the forecast keeps changing with the storm, but the good news is it's changing for the better. Uh, if this thing stays out over the water, uh, unfortunately, it will remain it, keep its strength, but the good news is it goes out to sea, uh, and it does not affect land uh, too much, maybe just a brush with the coast. So we're going to have to see what happens, but, uh, you know, it looked like it was heading toward Florida, and there was a lot of mass panic there, and, People were panicking, and this is why people shouldn't panic, because sometimes sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes the storm misses. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, the models just don't pick up on certain things. It's because of the slower movement of the storm. With this blocking high out of the way, because the storm is moving slower, it's a chance to go out to sea. So uh, I'm hoping that's what happens. Uh, let's look at the uh, satellite loop here of Hurricane Dorian, and you can see a very well-defined eye very well defined circulation great outflow just a very very healthy hurricane uh is doing excellently in the conditions that it's in because it is in over warm water it's got low wind shear uh or practically no wind shear uh and uh plenty of moisture to work with uh so of course it is is probably going to continue to strengthen i still think this is going to possibly reach category five status this thing is really just uh, it looks amazing on the satellite. It really does, uh, for sure. Almost perfect symmetry. Uh, it's amazing how nature can form such perfect shapes. But uh, anyway, uh, you can see it's gonna tr it's gonna brush the northwestern Bahamas. But I still think maybe it'll miss it. But 
it, wherever it hits, if it does wind up hitting the northwest of Bahamas, it, it's going to be wiped out. Right? That's that's the bottom line. So um, I think that's all we're going to go over in this update here. Um, so uh, that will be it for this uh, Hurricane Dorian update. Just want to make it brief, but uh, again, it looks like it's going to try to curve out to sea now. Uh, and hopefully it does. Uh, it looks like if you look at all the models here, you will see uh, there's another. This is the CMC, and, and they they mostly all taking it out to see with maybe brush brushing the Carolinas, but it could impact Nova Scotia. So whatever it'll be, be at a weaker state, but it's uh, this is the uh, GFS ensembles, by the way. So uh, GFS still kind of has it trying to brush the Carolinas. So. We we'll have to keep our eye on it. We're not out of the woods. I'm not saying it's going completely out to sea, but I'm saying that Florida at least looks like it looks like right now. It looks like Florida could be spared. Uh, anyway, uh, that will conclude this Hurricane Dorian update. Take care. Thank you for watching.